Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Block. I'm welcome in a very special way. It is what it is. And it's Thursday morning here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia. As you can see behind me there, here, the day is bright. Bright. The golf course right there. And the day looks very bright. And I'm so excited. You know what? You know why I'm so excited? I'm excited because there are so many good news around us. Chelsea, we are going to hit the ground running this Saturday. We are going to use Newcastle. Newcastle. We're going to sacrifice Newcastle and we'll make them a scapegoat. For the losses we made against um, um, Arsenal, the losses we made against Manchester City, all these two games, we are supposed to collect the three points. In fact, let me add Liverpool to it. We play draw against Liverpool, draw against Arsenal, and then draw against Manchester City. Newcastle, they are going to be the sacrificial lamb. We must get a three points from them to compensate. To compensate for some of the losses we made against Arsenal, Liverpool, and Manchester City. Don't you believe me, Chelsea fan? I am of the hope. I am of the belief. I strongly believe that the match against Newcastle is not going to be easy. But we are ready. Look, our camp, Cobham, yesterday was bubbling. <laughs> For those who have been thinking, Nkuku will not get involved. Let me not go there yet. I will come back to that separately. Right now, let me start with something. You can see the picture on your screen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Our striking option. Our striking option. What we want. What we really want right now. On board a flight back to Napoli. And you can see the colors there. What color do you see boldly there right now? It is blue. I don't need to mention his name. You are watching the picture. You know what I'm talking about. You see the hat he's putting on? The color that he's putting on there? Yeah, that is a sign. This is from his tutor. Or oh, X. Now X, right? Now it's called X. He is the man we want in Chelsea. To compliment Nkuku, Kopama, and Sterling at the, for at the front there. Yeah, or Moidrick. You know, right now, where the team has gotten to, when Nkuku hit the ground running and Kopama is on top of the game and we have Sterling there or Moidrick there, whichever way, I believe Moidrick will pick form very soon. Don't rule him out yet. I have seen many people on, on X talking about his performances and his age, that by now he should have been better than the way he is. He has speed. Moidrick has speed. But his dribbling ability, when he's on speed, he must also be able to dribble with the speed. We all knew ha Hazard. Hazard can run with the ball at the same time. He's balancing with the ball and beating the opponent's defense. That is where Modric is having a problem. Yeah. But with the national team, he does better. With the Ukrainian national team, Modric does better than when he's with Chelsea. The coaches are actually working on him and we are believing that he can pick up form many have said that those are things he could have developed right from you know childhood growing up it should be part of his gene so we are not too sure yet. i'm personally not too sure yet i like him and i would like him to hit the form that we may see him you know do for his national team in any case sterling is there kopama is there nkuku is there if we can get this guy on your screen right now my dear friend what do you think between now and december <laughs> but we cannot get in between now and December. All we can hope for is that January, which is also a doubt. We are, for me, I knew that summer is going to come to Chelsea in, during the summer transfer window. Yeah, we move on. Now, back to the main issues of the day. It is Thursday, and a lot has been taking place. A lot took place yesterday in camp, as you can see on your screen. Yeah, Nkuku was part of the first team training. Ah, 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 ah. Nkuku was in first team training yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you can see him there with uh, Amanda Broa. Amanda Broa at the changing room preparing for the training. Yeah, Nkuku, for the good news that we have is that he was part of the first team training. I am not too sure. Nicholas Jackson went for international duty and so he, he practiced with Amanda Broa yesterday. We are in Thursday. You are already in Thursday. I'm welcoming you in a very special way this morning as you are waking up. 
So he partnered with Amanda Broja yesterday in training. You could see them there smiling while I was in the dressing room. Nkuku is back. And he himself took to Instagram and posted this one, this next one that I'm showing you right now. He was in Instagram and posted this next one. You can see on your screen on his Instagram page. All right. Okay. One player that we are, we, were, we are likely to face with Newcastle, but according to the rules, he's not eligible to play against us because he's one of our own. He is one of our own, Lewis Hall. We, we loan Lewis Hall to Newcastle. And so far, so good. He's one player that is on loan, but, and he's doing quite well. He's doing quite well. In fact, extremely well for Newcastle. And it, it will be a loss to, 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 to Newcastle that he will not be partaking or he will not play in the game against Chelsea. But he is our player. We only loan him to Newcastle, so he's not eligible to play against us. According to the agreement and the contract, he is not eligible to play against his mother, you know, club. And therefore, he is Luis Hall. Luis Hall isn't able to face Chelsea on Saturday, but it is a good time to reflect on his Newcastle move. Why other transfers, collapse deals led to his exit? How he renewed his Chelsea FC deal just two weeks prior to his move to Newcastle was something surprisingly yeah will chelsea fc regret letting him go no not yet at this moment no even though he's on top of his game with newcastle that is why we sent him on loan let's see what happened next summer yeah he is still ours according to niza Inzela reporting on that one all right look london first London first. The blue. London is blue. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you know, as your breakfast is loaded with a lot of, you know, protein, vitamin, all the ingredients you can think of, all the best you can think of to energize you for the day. Mm. Because there's so much to come. But right now, Pochettino has a major squad decision ahead of him with the return of Christopher Nkuku and Romeo Lavia. Yeah. Pochettino has a major squad decision ahead of him with the return of Christopher Nkuku and Romeo Lavia. Who does Nkuku replace? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Who would Nkuku replace in the lineup? Not necessarily with Newcastle game, but in the games to come. Now, another area is center back. Center back, Konodrom. Center center backs are many. Center back Kono draw. Pochettino has a lot of decisions to make ahead of him. Center back Kono draw. It's almost like we have so much center backs. Bisasi is there, Levi Cowell is there, Malogusto is there, uh, uh, Rhys James. The, the, I mean, our 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 defense is solid. We have it in excess. We have it in excess. The one you come to the midfield. Ah. What role do you think Levi, uh, Lavia, Romeo Lavia will play? Romeo Lavia in our midfield. Romeo Lavia is back. Is he going to be Conor Gallagher? <laughs> I want to tease your brain. I want to tease you this morning. When it comes to the midfield, Romeo Lavia is there. Conor Gallagher is there. Casado, Enzo. Yes. Mention them. Who is Romeo Lavia going to be replacing? Pochettino has a major squad decisions ahead of him in the days to come. In the days to come. Then we have nine players for four attacking spots. Nine, nine, nine players. Four plus five. Nine players for the attacking spot. That is right winger, left winger, number 10 row, and then the striking position. That is four, right? Yeah. And we have nine players for those positions. Nine. Mention them. Jackson, Amando Broja, Nkuku, Raheem Sterling, Moidrick. Mention there are nine. Nine players for that role. I'm leaving that. Let me know from you. We have nine players for the attacking spot, dear friend. Think about it and let me know from you in the comment section. If you were to be Pochettino, what would be your decisions? 
Your first starting 11, how will you look? My dear friend, we have a lot to talk about today. I shall be back. And when I come back, I will start from this same spot we are ending now. Remember, if you are new on this channel, like the video, share the video, and click on that bell, that bell there. So when you subscribe, remember to click on the bell so that you'll be notified in, in case we are coming up with any exclusives or breaking news. You'll be notified on all of our updates. They are exclusives. So click on that button and please remember to send me your comments. Remember to send me your comments. And also remember, weekend games are coming up. The international games are over. It's about bet winner. Bet winner. Register with them and use my promo code to bet this weekend. The games that are coming up, you could win something great. My promo code is TIM1979. T-I-M-1979. The link is there at the description there. Just click on the link and register with Betwina and win something this weekend. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.